Sane, over here. That was fast. I didn't think you'd be here yet. I just got here. Now come on, let's order us a bucket of sweets. Mmm, this is so good. Tea with sweets is the best way to relax. I guess. The tea and the cake aren't as good as what Naomi made. Yeah, she was a good cook. Anyway, other than how it tastes, are you relaxing? Relaxing? You're not relaxed? If there's something bothering you, you can talk to me. There isn't really anything. I'd be happy to take some fighting advice, though. Alright, but are you sure you want advice from me? You were the best in the class. You're pretty good yourself. You're not great at focusing on the whole picture, but you're great in a straight fight. I think you could teach me about using my power effectively, or how to make openings on the battlefield. Uh, was that a compliment? Yes, it was. You just go right in, even if it's an obviously dangerous situation. Why is that? I feel like you're saying I'm reckless. But yeah, if I had to give a reason, it's because I trust my friends. There are other people who will watch the whole battle. Even if I am a little excessive and clumsy, someone will cover for me. <laughs> I guess I sound spoiled. I see. Trusting your friends. I'll keep that in mind. I suppose there are a lot of different ways to fight. I'm glad I could help. But that's not what I was asking. Aren't you worried about how you're getting along with people? How I get along? What do you mean? Um, well... Like if there's someone you like... Huh? I do like someone, but I'm not worried about it. R really? That's cool. Could I ask who it is? Sure. It's Naomi. Huh? Oh, um... I didn't mean like in a family sense. Like a guy or something. So you mean romance. You should have said so from the beginning. So... Is there anyone? I don't know. At least I've never felt anything like that. So there's no one that you like right now? I don't think so. I'd know if I liked someone like that, wouldn't I? What? Um, I think you can be attracted to someone without realizing it yourself. Really? Uh, Kasane? <sighs> I'm going to head back. Yeah. Sorry it got so awkward. It's not awkward. I don't know if it was relaxing, but I had fun, I think. I haven't had pointless small talk with anyone since I've been separated from my sister. Um, if it made you feel better, then I'm glad I invited you. Why do you care about me so much? Huh? We're friends. Of course I'd care. Friends? You mean me? Yeah. I think so anyway. Is that bad? No. I don't mind. I was just a little surprised. I just thought we were familiar colleagues. Colleagues? I would have hoped you at least considered us classmates. Well, we can say we're friends now. I guess we can. Thanks. Yeah, sure. We should have tea as friends again. Of course. I'll see you later. Kasane, how are you? I'm fine. You look all right, too. I'm sorry. I'm actually not all right. I can't just pretend like nothing happened. I hope we can talk about what's going on. I can't stand being your enemy. 
I think it's unfortunate, too. I don't want to fight you. We finally became friends. So why do we have to fight? As long as you're with Yuito, I'll fight you. There is something I have to do. That's crazy. If you don't want to fight, why don't you come with me? What? What are you saying? I have to achieve my goal no matter what. So I need fighters. I need you, Hanabi. Are you telling me to make Yuito my enemy? I could never do that. If it's hard for sentimental reasons, then you can just give me information. Like where he is, or where he's going. Hey! Don't insult me! I would never betray him! Uh... I guess negotiations have broken down. Why are you so angry, though? Of course I'm angry! Yuito and I grew up together, and he's my friend. He never gives up on his ideals, no matter how hard things are. I know he's worried, and I know it must be hard for him to have to fight you. That's why I have to stand by his side. But you want me to betray him! All you talk about is Yuito. Why do you care about him so much? You were the one who started it! I think we should decide who and why we fight for ourselves. Not because of someone else's feelings. <sighs> Maybe you let other people inform your opinions because you're emotionally immature. What? How can you say that? I've had enough. Going home. Hanabi? Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get it, though. I wanted to know what she thought, but all she talked about was Yuito. She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him too? If that's true, then I really did mess up. Hmm. You really are cool, Kasane. Cool? You were a bit standoffish in the past, but you always just slice through those others. I wish I could do that. It's not really like me to say this, but I can't help but admire you. I think I'm starting to understand you better. What a coincidence. I feel like I know you better too. Hey, Kasane. Back when you were a cadet, you didn't really talk to anyone besides Naomi. That's true. It's because I didn't find it necessary. Uh, I see. But when I think about those times, I'm really glad that you talk to me like this now. Because it means that you find it necessary now. It'll push me harder to become someone you can really rely on. I want to hear more about you. All right, tell me more about you as well. Hmm, I can't help myself from charging forward in battle. I know how much you're covering for me and my reckless tendencies. It's fine. Sometimes it makes it easier to fight when you're out in front like that. Well, I guess that's nice to know. I'll just have to be careful that I don't overdo it from now on. counting on you and you can always count on me Hanabi about before I said some insensitive things it's okay I'm sorry I just left like that I've been thinking since then I finally understand why you care about Yuito so much so I want to help make your dream come true what what do you mean I mean you like Yuito Let's talk outside, okay? Huh? Sure, I don't mind where we talk. Listen, you're mistaken. I don't like Yuito like that. If you don't like him, do you hate him? I, I don't hate him. I just don't like him as a man. Don't say things like that. I didn't mean anything by it. I also looked into some objective data, just in case. Objective data? For example, 
The temperature of your flames is 10% hotter when you fight alongside Yuito. No way. Also, your gaze during missions. Outside of battle with others, you look at him 80% of the time. Oh! Okay, that's enough. I admit it. So you're saying you do like him? Yeah? I see. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I want to help you. Thanks. Honestly, I thought you liked Yuito too at first. You guessed wrong. The one who liked him wasn't me. It was my sister. Naomi? Yes. You look just like her when you talk about him. That's how I realized. Oh. If you like him, you should tell him. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't know what could happen if you wait. I want you to tell him how you feel. For Naomi. Oh, but I just can't. Why are you in such a hurry? We're OSF. If you don't tell him all you can, you may never get a chance. Kasane, I understand that you're serious about this, but I can't say it yet. Why? Because I don't think I'm good enough for him yet. Not as an OSF soldier or as a person. You said it before. It's immature to depend on people. I said that because I didn't know you liked him. No, you were right. You nailed it. That's why I got angry. You and Yuito both have your goals and ideals, but I've just been following him. I'm a member of the OSF, but I've never considered what it is I fight for. I can't stay like this. I need to grow up and get strong enough to stand on my own. What's important is that I become the kind of person who doesn't just depend on people, but can protect and support them when they need it. Oh, okay. I can understand that. I thought the same thing about Naomi. <sighs> I won't force you to tell him, but I'm rooting for you. Thanks. That makes me feel better. Friends really are important. You're welcome. It's rare for me to talk about a friend's love life. That seems pretty normal to me. Is something funny? Nothing's funny. I just think it's very interesting. It sounds like you think it's funny. Kasane, have you mellowed lately? Like how you talk? Have I? I'm not particularly aware of it. Really? I just had the feeling that you're somewhat easier to talk to. Maybe I'm the one who's changed. It could be that I understand what you're feeling more since I know you better. That makes me happy. It makes me happy to know you trust me. I know I'm in good hands with you. So this is what trust feels like. Come to a cafe in Suo with me? Sure. Is everything okay? Uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. Has she made a decision about Yuito? Alright, let's go. So what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point as always. Okay then, I wanted to talk to you about the OSF. The OSF? Not Yuito? Hey, it's not like I think about him all day. I mean, maybe I did up until recently, but there's no talking about Yuito today. I want to be more independent and not rely on him so much. I see. So what about the OSF? We've seen the OSF's dark side through the battles we've been in. We know that they're not an ally of justice. 
We found out that it's an organization that runs cruel experiments that cost a lot of people their lives. True. Now I'm struggling with the decision of whether or not to stay in the OSF. I know that I have to be the one to make the final choice, but I just wanted to ask your opinion. If you're questioning your current situation, you either have to leave or change. Right. So it comes down to those two options. I guess I don't really want to leave. I have friends and other people who are very important to me in the OSF. And I don't want to run away. I feel like I need to face the OSF head-on precisely because we know there's something wrong. Then that leaves you with only one answer. You're right. I probably already knew it, but was too afraid to say it out loud. I want to change the OSF because it's filled with the people I love. I don't want to give up on it. An OSF that doesn't sacrifice lives, but saves them. Yeah, that's going to be my goal. That's a good goal. Straightforward, just like you. <laughs> I know it's ambitious, but it's the least I can do if I want to be on the level of you and Yuito. You can do it. I told you before that you have the power to break through the front line. Even outside of battle, you can break through barriers as long as you put your mind to it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a compliment, but thank you. I'll do my best. Hey, Kasane, I'm glad we became friends. Is something wrong? I was so preoccupied with Yuito before, but talking to you made me realize I had to change. I think you've helped me broaden my perspective as well. I think about things I never would have before. It might just be my imagination, but are you planning to leave the OSF? What makes you think that? Well... You didn't seem to hesitate when you suggested my leaving the OSF. So I thought maybe... I haven't made any decisions yet, but you're right. I am considering that as a possibility. Oh. It'd be sad to say goodbye, but I'll always support you, no matter what path you may decide for yourself. Thank you. I appreciate that. Although, I'd like to see you confess your feelings to Yuito before I leave. What? I told you, no talking about Yuito. Did you say that? Honestly. Anyway, I'm not ready yet. But I think I'll be able to take the first step soon. So wish me luck. I hope your wishes come true. And not just romantically. I'll pray for you too. Let's both do our best. What does this handshake mean? I'm not sure, but it just felt right. Maybe it's a sign of our friendship. Even if we're apart, we'll still always be friends. Okay, friends it is. Well, are you ready to go? <laughs> we still have so much to do. Yes, let's get going. I'm glad we became friends, because I was able to notice so much that I was lacking. That goes for me too. There were a lot of times I was at a loss because I didn't have anyone like you around me before. Are you kidding me? That's what I should be saying. You're the first person like you I've ever met. But maybe that's why you're special. Just let me know if you ever need help. I'll be there in a flash. I'm going to work hard for you. Just you see. Let's both continue to improve ourselves. I'm glad we're together. <laughs> 